That's a grill. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> for another twelve dollars, bro. That's not bad. <clears throat> yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty cheap. I'm not gonna lie. I can see you rocking a neck tattoo, Spark. I don't know yeah, why. Okay, honestly, that's I don't what know I was why. telling Jack earlier. I was like, dude, this makes me actually really want one. Like, just. I didn't know what it was. It there. I didn't know what it was at first because, like, he, uh, because he, uh, I didn't have his screen full screen. His, it wasn't his cameras. His oh, cameras like, nice. or something. I thought it was a batch I of did hair. Too. I did too. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like showing Jack, what is that, a pretzel? <laughs> yeah. A pretzel? <laughs> it looks like a pretzel. <laughs> Is that their pretzel on your on your on your gullet? <laughs> Just love me them pretzels, man. <laughs> Saving it for later. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I could see it though, man. I mean, you got the whole tattoos already, so that's probably why. Mm. But like, I don't know, dude. Something there's something just real tough about neck tattoos. You know what I mean? Like you're real tough if you got a neck tattoo. I don't know. It seems way too painful. Honestly, like, every time I get a tattoo, like if a new tattoo, or, like every time I've gone to get a, a newer one, it hurts more than the last. And I'm just like, man, this fucking sucks. Like, why am I doing this? Ugh. I heard around the elbows, like the worst you can get, though. That I feel like bad. that one. Really? With all the dead skin? Really? And, uh, it's like, like the bone, there's right? There's a bunch of nerves. There's a bunch of nerves right here in the bend of your arm. And oh, the yeah, outside. yeah, yeah. So, that hurts quite a bit. Yeah, that would suck. I guess. Like, oof. And then... Also, too, like on your wrist, there's a bunch of nerves there too. That sucks pretty bad. That's where my buddy got his first one. He got like a like a like a verse, like kind of like oh, yeah. right there. I mean, usually they're and, pretty small, so there's nothing. Yeah, like, it was like, small, so he's like, it wasn't like even right. bad. <laughs> I feel like the hands would yeah. would hurt though, like because I was because I always think of the hand like t Tim's hand tattoos because he got he literally got them like from the knuckles pretty much all the way down connecting to his sleeve. So it's like, oh my god. That's a lot of that's a lot of like small tissue. I feel like I don't know, I don't yeah. know if I could do that. Weird ever. Bones. It like vibrates your whole skeleton. You're like, what the fuck? Right. Uh, right. There's the three. first one I got was on my ribs or so. Oh, else. dude, that's oh. I've heard that's one of the worst spots too. I, I was like 16 when I got it, dude. So. Jesus. Just had no pain. Just pain tolerance is just oh, out the roof, I mean, dude. Oh my god. How big yeah, was your tattoo uh, on your on your rib? Uh, like. It's pretty big so like uh fuck i don't know probably about like probably about as big as a wolf but like it's not as colored in it's just, gotcha jeez Ugh. but i remember like my leg was twitching and stuff like that like just, just <laughs> out of like were you like, nervous pain or? like there's no, there's nothing i could do so like i can't move because you will fuck it up so i was just like okay just tap my fucking leg like that oh my god <laughs> yeah. scary dude they're not fun I don't know, some people sit there and like will talk through the whole tattoo process, like talking to the artist. I'm like, no, dude, I'm gonna sit here with my headphones in. Like, you do your thing. Let me know when you're done. Yep. Let me know when it's done. <laughs> they know, like, there's like, I don't know, like, two th like things you don't like in a girl. Like, there's like an instant turn off for you. Like, my mm -hmm. I have two things. Mine's like sh really short hair, like what Miley Cyrus did, like that short hair, and okay. like a, like a chest tattoo, like anywhere near like. Right here, just tattoo like that. I'm just like, never looks good. I'm always like, I, I, I get what you're saying. It's kind of like the, the new uh, tramp stamp. Tramp kinda, stamp. You know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking the same is, thing. I don't know. Even for dudes though, like, because dudes will have the same thing, kind of like. That's, that looks, doesn't look bad though. Like your wolf, like that looks good. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Like you don't have like barbed wire shit. Like no. <laughs> But no, I'm talking about like people that'll get like a, a saying like uh like death before dishonor or like only or God like can judge me, you know, like, <laughs> or like no regrets. Name. Yeah. And no, no regrets. You know? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, that's kinda tacky. Or like their last name if they forget. My favorite Dude, one. Everyone, everyone, a lot of people did that in my school. They got their their last names in the, on, on their, their back. Or their back. What like, what was that trend all about? I don't understand. <laughs> you know I don't what I mean? get it either. Like, that's right up there with the tribal slash barbed wire tattoos. Dude, that that or the like the love you mom with the heart, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, my favorite thing love is you like, my, I would get totally that get on my ass cheek. <laughs> my, friend, my friends would get tribal tattoos, and my favorite thing I'd be like, "Hey man, what tribe you?" Like, and they were just like, "What?" <laughs> oh my it god, was pure over their head. See, like if you're like, uh, doesn't the Rock have like a tribal tattoo? But it's like. 
How does, uh, how, how does uh, he describe it? He describes it well. I don't know how he describes it, but he, his whole like arm and shoulder is like a tribal tattoo. But it's like I don't want to say he's Samoan, but isn't he like some type of? Yeah, he's Samoan. No, it's Samoan. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. he's yeah. Samoan. Thing, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's Samoan and half Filipino, I think. Yeah, he is. I'm pretty sure. But that yeah, makes sense, like though. That makes here. sense a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, I'm trying to look real tough. You know, I just get a little on the on the arm, just dice it up a little bit. <laughs> I, I know, I know, like some bodybuilders, they'll like when they're trying to, <clears throat> they'll put like optical illusions on like their shoulders, like the like when they get tattoos. So, like uh, the bodybuilder I was following, he got like, I, it look, looked like like almost kind of, it wasn't swirls, but it was like, it was like swirls slash spider webs. So I made his fucking shoulders just look th- like, Two times bigger. Look like bowling balls. <laughs> Holy. It was fucking ripped. I do see a lot of the bodybuilder dudes always getting inked up. I would, but as soon as I like lost like all that like muscle. That's what I'm saying. What happens when you stop with... lifting? Like, is it gonna go back to normal at all? <laughs> you know. That's the one thing I'd be scared of if you ever like did that type of like ma- like muscle massing. Is how would you look after you stop? Because you're gonna stop at one point in your life, you know. Aren't you just yeah. like Arnold, and you're just like like gonna go head on until you die? I was gonna say, I feel like Arnold hasn't stopped, dude. <laughs> Arnold's well, Arnold the fucking machine. Yeah, I was gonna say he's, he's an like, animal. That is some next level human, dude. Like, there's some gosh. people that are just like that, though. You know who's another good example? Sylvester Stallone. You guys seen that guy lately? Oh, yeah. That guy's an absolute oh, unit his whole He's life. Doing another Rambo. Yep. Movie. This is exactly why. That's what Honestly. I need in my life. <laughs> How many Rambo <laughs> movies are there? Probably. Like, Dude, the last one was fucking awesome, man. Was it? <clears throat> He's on the the MG or the machine gun. He's on like this fifty cal machine gun. He's like shooting all the fucking dudes, and their heads are just like literally exploding. He's just like. <laughs> Hell yeah! These like setting up claymore traps and everything. It's like, <laughs> it's, I, it's, oh, I hate the myth. That's the only yeah. Rambo movie I've seen. But I was like, oh my god, I need. Dude, I've more. never even seen a Rambo movie. So. What? <laughs> yeah, I went to high school with, um, you know, the police chief, in those movies. Mm-hmm. I went to school with his daughter. Huh. Small world. <laughs> Jeez. And he did the speech for our graduation too. <laughs> That's cool. That's what's up. Super motivational. <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> I get super pumped. <laughs> Man, one of my favorite, like, uh, you kind of remind me of, like, a Tom Segura skit uh, a little bit where he's talking about uh, how Steven Seagal is, like, a real-life cop and has this show. Yep. He's, like, uh, where he talks about doing training and all that, and he goes, uh, well, who do you have a... Can you imagine like being uh in the police and like you're like, all right, we're gonna have training today. Uh, who we have? Do we have some Navy SEALs? Do we have some Green Berets help teach us hand to hand combat? They're like, no, no, we brought in uh Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, apparently, that dude's like a cop in uh in uh New Orleans, not LA, but like, you could be like you could start up a bar fight there and you have a good possibility of being arrested by Steven Seagal. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's fucking wild. It is fucking crazy. I love Tom Segura's stand up. Holy shit. Dude, I've been on a binge Some watching of him the lately. Best is, that the, is that the dude who like goes on Joe's Rogue podcast? Huh? Yep. yep. Okay, okay. I was like, I know that name sounds familiar, but I can't like. Okay, yeah. I have to peep some of it. Is, is it good? Dude, he's really like very good. dry, but it's so fucking funny. But okay. it's, it's the humor that it's literally the exact kind of humor that I like. So Me too. Perfect. Okay. I'll it's like it. subtle, but you get the punchline. I, wa- I watched all of his specials on Netflix. They're so funny. Me too. My favorite ones where he's talking about uh, no change, or he's going to the coffee shop. Yeah. He's talking about this this Middle Eastern dude. Like, gives, he's like, the lady at the front there. I'm not going to explain the joke. But it's really funny. You got to check it out. It's like three, <laughs> three yeah, if you guys would like to. <laughs> Everyone, sit down. Relax, listen. Kick your feet up. <laughs> But no, oh man oh my goodness dude speaking of checking some stuff out boys i have spent a considerable amount of time just watching gta rp this week and i'm sure most of you guys have been watching it and others watching this podcast i'm sure you know what we're talking about 
But um, yeah, it is. It is hilarious. It's been. Uh, I think GTA has been part of the past uh, content or some some past content at Twitch as well, but not like this before. It's kind of insane to see it blow up like this, but it's good. I, I like. I like having a game like this on top for, on Twitch for a little while, even if it's only going to be for like a month and whatnot. But yeah. What do you guys think of it? Like, let's let's break it down a little bit because we haven't really talked since. Well, obviously it's been a week, but um, we haven't really talked. It's been a full week since this has pretty much been going on, and everyone's kind of hopping on this like GTA RP, like get into this character and just do random stuff on stream, and people are doing it for ten hours a day. It's wild. I think it's awesome. Like seriously, some people out there are so good at like voice acting; they need to like actually be voice actors instead of twitch stream or both <laughs> but um like just this is a different genre it's rp is something that's not very common you see on twitch usually it's like the top games are what potential esports mm -hmm. really about it just battle, chat, royales. battle royales you have like mobas but people like in an environment where they actually get to like role play and act and like improv in these funny situations it's something totally new and something like chill to watch you can just leave these streams open for hours. It's not the actions like few. It's it's a little like I don't want to say few and far between, but the actions like here and there. But when it hits, it's so funny. It's, like, it's I think the beautiful part about like RP and then specifically GTA RP because you can pretty much do whatever you want is the build up to like the characters like like building building your relationships with like these random people in in the RP server and then kind of you know like throughout your i guess we'll call it your story because each character's kind of got their own story and whatnot and like their lore or whatever and then following up until until like something crazy happens like right now my favorite thing is watching summit like do his whole spiel with his buddies every single day and it usually leads up to them doing crazy heists at the end of the night my dude was was streaming until 5 a.m this morning dude doing heist stuff like the, like just the build up to it like it took them like two to three hours to get a plan formatted together and just and then and then after that they're like they're like all right we're gonna need this many cars to get away if this plan falls what are we gonna do after this and then if someone dies or if someone crashes the car who's gonna take uh, like this type of stuff it's like some real like italian job type of shiz you know what i'm saying just like get away oh dude it was good stuff it's been so fun to watch i'm really enjoying it I yeah. think like uh, one of my favorite things about it is that there's so many streamers hopping on it now. So like, or everyone that kind of does it already is a streamer. They may be small, but they're kind of being discovered at that point. But anyway, uh, that being said, there's so many different perspectives you can get. Like, uh, so like I watch a lot of Soda. So Soda's characters is real anxiety. He's trying to make an honest living and stuff. And so he's got this boss. And then uh, you can you find out his boss streams too. And so he thinks he's doing honest work. But you go to his boss's stream. He's like, no, we're actually... Uh, or uh, shipping out cocaine and he's helping with the whatever. And so, <laughs> and so it's like crazy. Like, so you're waiting for, so then you go back to soda stream, you're waiting for his character to figure that out. And like, Oh my fucking God, I can't wait for this to unfold. Yep. That's, I think that's the beauty of the, of the server that they're playing in. Cause their rules are strict, which is good. I think because that way it's more, it's more immersive that way. And then you, like you're saying like the build up, they don't know what's really coming unless they find out in game. It's so awesome. And I think um, the topic that Brandon and I were talking about a little bit earlier this morning or last night was uh, the burnout of it. Uh, I believe it'll probably go for another like three weeks or so before people kind of stray away from it. Like say there's a huge update for Apex or something like that. It's likely going to switch gears a little bit for a lot of streamers. 100%. But, uh, I I want it to stay as long as possible. I do too, man. Dude, it's dude. finally something that's straight just entertainment. It's not It's not who's gameplay. the best, who's the most elite at this, you know what I mean? It's a it's yeah. a it's a collective of who can I guess I don't know, interact the best and put on the best show in a sense. It's really cool. It's a lot of elements to be good, which I I was talking to Ryan about this earlier and um I watch a lot of Summit obviously love that dude um and not just him but a lot of people are getting a lot of slack about um 
or people are not giving others slack about the whole RP stuff. Like, um, it's like, oh, you're not into it enough or something. It's like, what? Like people in Twitch chat is so stupid when it comes to this stuff. They don't understand. It's like, okay, well, this person has 60,000 plus viewers every day doing this. I think they're doing just fine. I think they're doing all right. right. You know what I mean? These people, these keyboard warriors, you're not into it enough. RP harder. It's like, you can't ask chat for anything. It's just like, shut up. <laughs> It's like, let the man do what he's got to do. It's not going to be perfect, but I don't know. I, I find it very entertaining in that yeah. aspect. It's been so nice, like, just to be able to stream something that's not, like, all competitive. Like, it's just, like, just someone who, who's been, like, streaming it. Like, it's only streamed, like, twice, but <clears throat> it's, it's nice to just kind of chill, relax, turn off the face cam, which is something oh, I would never Oh, my gosh. Doing. No overlays, nothing. It's just you, the game, you... And fucking interacting with people who are like have they go from, from people from ranging from EMSs to cops to gangs to drive through workers. It's just the whole thing <laughs> is so funny. <laughs> I've been loving every minute of it, honestly. I know it's gonna it might burn out, but it's kind of weird how it came back, right? Like, what is the origin of? Is it strictly through Summit and then caught like wildfire? Because um, what, like I this recent so. thing. Yeah, yeah, I was like, how did this get popular or... again? Uh well no it was lyric, lyric because, did because they did um Lean Boys season one was their thing uh last time so now this is considered Lean Boys season two but it's also a mix of everybody in the RP community it's not mm -hmm. it was kind of like um I think a lot of streamers saw the potential of it mainly I mean I don't think first off I mean I don't know if you guys saw Greek God but he was fucking awful. <laughs> and I don't think he's ever RP'd before, but he just saw it as opportunity. Same with Soda. I don't think he's done RP before, but like it's a lot of everyone's kind of bored with the games right now. WoW sucks. Uh, Apex. Apex is there, but it hasn't really gotten many updates from what I've heard. So it's, just, I don't know, something fresh and new and something that you can enjoy with like all your friends. 100%. Yeah, I don't know. My favorite thing is, or like, not my favorite thing, but uh, what I'm always looking forward to is like, what new the other streamer am I gonna see on there? Like, like you know, like oh shit, who's gonna pop up? Like, I'm honestly waiting for Shroud to pop on the server pretty soon. You know, he's gonna try it like, out I, for I, sure. I already know it's gonna be because I think I was just watching a bit of someone a second ago, not a second ago, but like before the podcast. Um, and uh, Pokemon was there, and I was like, oh shit, oh. all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Just watching all these characters like develop and all that, and like all these streamers, like they're the like they have like a really good accent. Like, uh, like Tim the Tatman's new to it, but dude, his character is so funny. So he's playing like a redneck, and then uh, people like Soda, which he seems to be like just playing himself, like not doing, not really doing a voice, but he's still like, like super, like I don't know. It's just the whole improv thing is a uh, seems to be working for all these Twitch streamers. Awesome. Yep. Well, mo most of the time, I mean, that's kind of what we do. You know what I mean? We're all improv for the most part. I mean, there's obviously other broadcasters that put on, try to put on a show and stuff like that. But um, I mean, most of this is improv already. So it's just kind of just doing it in a different character and with a bunch of other people. <laughs> it's cool, though. It, it, it makes it makes people be more creative. And a lot of the time it's random. So it just ends up being more funny. <laughs> so, Especially with the accents. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'll tell you some of the characters on there. There's a uh, there's one guy who's like he, I, I told you about him uh, for the podcast, but his name's Kid Boga. He kind of all, all he does on his streams is go to just chatting and he scan or he wastes phone scammers time like people that do like irs scamming and all that so he was like built for this so when he adapted to like gta role playing he plays this like old lady was who's very clueless it's mm -hmm. it's so funny man who's this character what was he playing okay. he plays the uh, ed nuts uh oh, okay. like the character he plays on when he does the the phone scamming mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's this uh old lady who's just like clueless to everything <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's like riding around with like this uh prune <laughs> gang <clears throat> i'm not Fern sure gang. Oh, it's so funny. He's like riding around with all these like people that have been in GTA roleplay forever, like uh, Kiki Chanel's like this transvestite. Oh. <laughs> Kiki Chanel's good. Yeah, man, it's funny. She's great. She's funny. Excuse me, I don't want to get blamed, but yeah. yeah.
no, it's, it's just like the whole interaction with everyone. Just oh god, I, I can't like stop watching. You know, it's like fake reality t- TV. Like, exactly, it's already <laughs> fake. But this is this is like it's it's so like preposterous. It's hilarious. That's what makes it so good though, because you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> It's, it's all improv and then it's all your fa- usually you know a lot of top top broadcasters are on like the good servers and stuff like that so it's like oh this person's might run into this person here <laughs> so you're like waiting for something to happen but it might not happen oh dude it's great it's wild because in some of those servers like no pixels is obviously one of the hardest ones to get into because it's uh this is where all the streamers are at it's like I, I was i was wondering like you have to like interview to get in you have to apply like Yep. You have to be on this waiting list for months. Like when you get interviewed, do you have to RP your character? You probably I guarantee you do. I guarantee you, you have so, to. Fucking next level, dude. <laughs> I, I got um back in Armor 3, when I was playing on there, uh, we had to get interviewed or whatever. And um like back then they had like strict rules where if anyone leaked like anything about the interview, like they mm-hmm. would get banned from the server or something. So like so you just kinda go in and like fuck, do I RP all these questions or like stuff? And um I think I did it first. And I just RP the question, RP through the questions, and like I got through it, I passed, whatever. And then, so I told uh, Aaron, which is my friend, that uh, like with me, like I'm not supposed to tell him, but you know, I did it anyway because who's gonna know conversation between just me and him? And so he passed through it as well. And, and y'all were like, I have no idea. Because what uh, what server was that? I don't know if you're allowed to say, but um, it was like I don't know what exactly like the branding of the server, but it was the Armor Three is life, but it was like the main one that like. Play, the the real I, life ones, yeah. Because <clears throat> we play with Andy Milnakis, and he'd always just be wrapping up in the booth, and we'd be like, "Oh, that was a great hit, Andy! Like this one's gonna go top notch. Like <laughs> this one's going double platinum. I swear, Andy, I'll be at your concert, man. I'll see you there." Because y'all like y'all would sling drugs from them and shit in that, right? Yeah, too. Also, it's a it's a big old map in that um in Armor Three, so like you go all the way somewhere else, and like they had the the cocoa fields, you know? Oh yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. They would always try to g- bring <laughs> helicopters into there yeah. and trying to get out. You know? Oh my god, that's that's when I remember watching was when when uh, Arma when they did like the real life mod stuff in Arma Three. That's when I remember watching Lyric get into all that stuff. Like I I remember vividly. Uh, there like someone was getting married. I don't know how I remember this so vividly, but they were there was some there was some sort of wedding at the church, and everyone was getting or everyone was getting together. Oh, everyone this. drove up to the to the church and got like on in their suits and stuff like that. And then like as soon as they like got like tied the knot, something happened. Someone stabbed someone or something crazy, and it just all hell Gunshot. broke loose. Gunshots are flying, uh-huh. dude. Like it was that. just it was just chaos, but it. It was just so funny. I was like, this is great. And that was that was when Lyric was doing it a lot back then. So, I mean, that had to be, what, four plus years ago when I was watching that? That's crazy to me. So, the potential's always been there. What I'm really excited about, though, is <clears throat> the people that have been doing the RP stuff since then, and they're so good at that, they're finally getting some exposure like there's a lot of I mean a lot of guys that Lyric played with back in the day as well like all the lean boys and stuff like that <clears throat> they're getting some really good exposure because they're so good at what they do cuz that's pretty much all they do but I don't know it's it's really cool to see that these um these uh RPers are getting some you know spot in the limelight a little bit it's pretty cool to see especially since you know the number one game on Twitch isn't a BR right now it's it's wild <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people should try taking advantage right now in these other game genres if they're looking, you know, get a little more exposure and shit because right now there's mainly all the big guys that are going to get a lot of the viewers are all in GTA, so mm-hmm. definitely take advantage. You think any other uh, game market will be like, hey, uh, this RP stuff's really taking off and they'll try to create a RP type game? That'd be awesome. That'd be I cool. Think. I don't know, man. Kind of weird because it's all it's always been a mod. Exactly. So, yeah. Who would like, pick that up? You know, who would like, make a standalone? It'd cool. be cool, but because I feel like there's always a community for it too. I I don't think there's ever not been on it. It's always people looking to do it at some point. Yeah, um, that'd be hard to do because the thing that's so funny about GTA is it's, it's so goofy. <laughs> I like, mm-hmm. like watch like whenever like a cop is uh is pulling you over and then he has to type like flash clipboard and he pulls out a clipboard starts like arbitrarily or uh 
Just like writing shit down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do you, have you guys uh, seen uh, Moon Moon's character? Oh, Young, young Dev. Dev. Oh, young dude. Dev. He's a rapper, right? He was, <laughs> he's awful at it. Holy shit. He's so bad at rapping. <laughs> he's, he's terrible at rapping, but his character is fucking great. Oh, it's great. Like, uh, last night I was just like peeping through who was uh, streaming it right before bed. And I tune into Moon Moon and um, there's like a, some cop activity going on. He goes, he goes and I, you just hear a cop yelling, Young Dev, is that you? Can I talk to you here over here for a minute? And he's like, the cops like interviews like am i arrested he goes no i just want to tell you i'm such a fan let's see your new album over here. Like, <laughs> he's doing like the, the dab or whatever like <laughs> doing game in between what? conversation oh, like, oh yeah man. he like signs with an autograph and he's like yeah you're not in trouble if you need any help with the law hit me up like, i got you <laughs> that's fucking awesome <laughs> oh my goodness uh, props to him for choosing like to be a rapper because Moon Moon is literally like the whitest dude I've ever met. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Or not he's, ever seen, he's ever terrible seen. at it, uh, but it's it's hilarious. <laughs> he's good at it. he's pretty good at the improv though. I'd say he 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 does really good at that stuff. I recommend like I recommend at least everyone do it. Like if you have GTA and you have like. A little bit of you think you like the RP and you think it's funny, try it, man. Because it's honestly like taking the improv class. I didn't know how bad it was that improv. <laughs> I'm so I, I took an improv class. I had to. Maybe that's why yeah. I'm I'm so good at doing those stupid accents. Like when I would play Sea of Thieves, bro, I would just do the stupid. I would talk in game to people, like just RP, like with my Scottish accent or whatever. <laughs> just Dude. just meme with people. I'm so fucking bad. I go. From, I'm trying to do a Texan accent. I go from Texan. <laughs> Like redneck to Scottish to British to Australian, like and then like you gotta stick with one, man. <laughs> I can't. I start dipping into the accent in mid sentence. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I gotta act like I'm coughing and shit. Oh my gosh, it's hard. It is hard. I wasn't meant for impressions, but dude, I was I, th I was thinking I could do. I should do like I was just just memeing around. I was like, I should do like the. I should just make a Schmeagle character in GTA. Just do the Schmeagle voice all around, but. <laughs> That would be a lot of effort to do that voice all day. I don't know about that. It'd be you funny. Should, totally should. I'd be like, this is my nephew. He's a little slow, as you can tell. <laughs> I'll just, oh, just go in game, just like oh, talking like that. <laughs> just jiggle your keys a little bit. He'll get entertained. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do it with you one of these one of these nights, Jagger. I can do quite a few accents, pretty good. So. Dude, my brother, even my brother, he's like, uh, he, he's married, has kids and everything. Even he was like, dude, I want RP, man. This shit looks fun. Like, he brings like everyone out of the woodwork to. Like, well, anyone can do it, imagine. no matter how old, or, old you are. You know what I mean? If you're funny yeah. and you're good at like interactions and just improv, you can have a good time with it, you know? <laughs> it's great. Good time. I'm enjoying it. Like you said, I hope it stays a while forever, but three weeks. Yeah, might, uh, we're we're yeah. thinking internet time here. You know, I mean, one week of internet time is a lot of time already. But again, like the whole the whole like story building and just like everyone, at least on like the one server that it's like super strict rules and like making everything this way is helping a ton. I think just like making it so it's it's more fun for people to you know get more immersed. I think too, because there's I'm sure you've seen some servers Jagger where it's like okay this is a joke. <laughs> Like everyone's breaking character all the time and stuff. It's like, oh god. It's like people are breaking character, and it's like we played on one where you could train to be a cop, and literally, like, there's that's all you could do is just be a cop. Like you could go in, that's... and everyone was a cop running around, and so me, Flockers, oh. and Koja arrested someone who wasn't who had just spawned. So he was a citizen. He was speeding. We arrested him. So I handcuffed him, and I was like, you know, that animation looks so bad that like you're walking him. He has his handcuffs behind him. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, then Ko Koja arrested me, so I had my hands behind me. The guy in front of me still had his hands behind me I originally arrested him. And then Flopkiss arrested Koja. <laughs> so, like, really three dudes walking down the street in a perfect line. It looks so, like, wonky. And you have people, like, that are doing, like, RDMing, like, random deathmatch uh, killing when they're not supposed to, or VDM, vehicle deathmatch. Ugh. Supposed to. Ruin Which, it. Like, kind of just kills it. That's why, like, those big servers are uh, are always, like, a you know, you can get in, you can queue up. But it's always like a mess because everyone's like killing each other in the spawn or things like that. So just when you do that and you see how like how organized no pixel is, you're like, man. Yeah, it's it's so nice. <laughs> no, it's a. Uh...
No Pixel's fucking awesome, by the way. Just like their whole like, it, like the like everything with their overlays and everything like that. It's not too much clutter. It's it, the names don't show up when they're talking because you're RPing as someone. Like you're not RPing as your Steam name. Like so right. that helps a lot. <clears throat> so I don't know. Yeah, they yeah. put a lot of effort into managing and admining that. Just... Yeah, and uh, I was watching Lyric earlier, and he was he has a shirt the, for the Lean Boys, <laughs> and uh, he was like, maybe uh, all the funds that we get from all the T-shirts, I'll donate it to No Pixel. I was like, damn, that'd that's be that's really cool. nice of him to do. I mean, mm-hmm. shoot, it's it's giving so many people opportunities, and if they're doing this good of a job already, managing yeah. it, you know, might as well support stuff that's. Well, fun to watch and fun to play, dude. I think a lot of people right. are just doing it because it's fun to play too. It's not; it's more more or less the entertainment aspect of it, but it's just something different. It's you don't have to stress too much about playing something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not. You're, I mean, you're performing, but you're not performing. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope it lasts more than three weeks. That's a, it's me and Ryan's prediction is about another month, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I hope it keeps going. want to dig into my baby? Let's do it, dude. I want to talk right. about it because I'm having a blast. <laughs> so I have not seen a single negative review yet of The Division 2 at all. I've seen nothing but people being happy about how it turned out, and that makes me super fucking happy. I'm only level like 13 or something, but... Like everyone who's playing like level 30 max level shit, they love it. The game's even more fun when you hit max. Like Mm -hmm. the game, the game game literally just starts like me. I mean, I me and Evan did what like for a first run through like everything. We just took our time. We didn't rush anything until like day three. We're like, all right, we're in the 20s. Let's power level through this. We got to like 30 in a couple hours, but It takes about 30 to 40 hours to hit max level. Yep. By the way, which is like compared to the first one, man, that's a lot of time. Yep. Cause and me and Evan took our time. It took us about 26 hours roughly to just, mm-hmm. I mean, that was, that was no rush besides like the last couple levels. Um, but yeah, it's good, man. It's really fun. Again, the game, I, I still think the game won't be for everyone. If you're expecting a fast paced, you know, run and gun type of game, it's just ain't going to be your thing. But if you like looter shooters and just kind of like tactically building uh, or like mid maxing a certain build for for like end game type of content, you're going to enjoy the game a ton. I think they did. The one thing I have pointed out, and I said this on my stream multiple, multiple times, I think I have a good, a good um uh, amount of hours in the game so i feel like i can talk on it is like the quality of life updates for the game like oh yeah i'm trying to think of some but just like like if you see like a little detail uh in the game when it comes to like keybinds or just like little details of inventory management or little details of you know just settings where you can uh tweak little things here and there like little things like that i think they nailed in this game also, the world aesthetically looks. Yeah, I was gorgeous. about to say that. Like the things one of the in the best world too. Games I've ever seen. The so first good. one was really good, but this one just there's no snow on the ground or anything, so you can actually really take in how good the design team did. Mm-hmm. Like it's well, and every how detailed it different. is, dude. Like I mean, it's like it's yeah. like pic- pixel for pixel the exact you know layout yeah. of the actual place it's it's mind-blowing because like you'll go up the street but then you see like a side street go up there's gonna be uh you know a shortcut through here then you can go through this alleyway it's just like it's so detailed i absolutely love it yeah i'm i don't know i don't know what else to say but it's my favorite probably my favorite game out right now and i'm i'm just starting end game now with like 30 hours in the game and i don't know what else to say i'm i'm blown away with how much fun i've actually been having with it Uh, it's way more i'm way more impressed than i thought i would be like i was expecting a finished game but i i wasn't expecting this good of a finished game i guess is Mm. what i'm saying yeah yeah i I haven't seen i literally like i've been looking to see like what people's negative opinions are on it like people are saying how they're quitting Destiny and Anthem to play The Division 2 because it's like an actual looter shooter that's done done correct. 
well let's just put it this way the exotics in the game um i watch cream a lot he's one of the guys i watch a ton he's been playing it he probably has 60 hours in the game already and he hasn't even seen an exotic to my knowledge which mm -hmm. just blows my mind it's like what you already have 60 plus hours in the game you haven't even seen one like what <laughs> That's crazy to me, but Which, that's how it should for be. For anyone who doesn't know, an exotic like weapon or piece of armor is the highest, best piece of and most rare you, can, you get. can get. Yep. Yeah. So it, it's just I'm so happy about it, and I I haven't been playing it too much. Because I kind of want to take my time with it, but also yep. an, another another thing to like top off like a, a cherry on top for this is all the content for the next year is free all of the yep. updates and everything which you can't just, you can't beat that you know what like, i mean that is crazy if if that's not like repaying for their past then i don't know what it is well i think you retweeted it ryan uh one of the guys uh that's been working on i don't know some stuff was like i've never seen a dev team so like like in in tuned with their game with with the game and their audience i think we have something going here along yeah, those yeah. lines mm-hmm that that's really cool because when you have when you have a community that's uh you know willing to give constructive criticism but like not you know dumb criticism because there's a lot of people that just will p play a game for a few hours hate it and just like give no constructive criticism where i think the the division guys have kind of proven themselves um considering how lackluster some of the first division was and over time fixed it and just they didn't give up on it and you can tell they didn't give up on it over the course of a couple years uh, and just kind of showed people that they they have a finished game and that they're willing to listen to people and you know take some insight from whether it's content creators whether it's you know a lot of people that have played the game for a long time you know just the whole community as a whole they're listening and you know readily readily available for good constructive criticism and that's you know you don't see that very much you know right it's a good exactly. it's a good thing another really cool thing i think um a lot of games rpgs mainly but a lot of games in general should kind of take into consideration is throughout the division 2 and different buildings you'll find these plaques and on the plaques are actual names of different content creators that help support the oh, game. Oh really? Game. That's cool. Yeah. So like you'll see a bunch of uh streamers names on there, whatever. Just like a little a little some little thank you. Yeah, that's dope. I'm yeah, excited. Really cool cuz that kind of like makes them feel like they actually did something kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I was talking about the detail in Division One, and that was always the coolest thing about it. it was like just walking through the streets of uh, what was it, New York? We were mm -hmm. in New York, and like just watching all the trash fly by, and like mm -hmm. all the buildings, because it wasn't like like you know when PUBG, like there's like only three different looking houses in PUBG. <laughs> right. like, it was like someone yeah. like actually took time to like color this in and everything yeah. like that. Like it was nice. Like it's you, tell, you can tell that the people at Ubisoft like took a lot of time to put in all the detail and it's nice and Ubisoft's really kind of turn around like as a company i mean knock on wood but um it feels like they're not like uh as bad as they were like circa three or four <clears> or five throat> years throat> ago seems like yeah, they're really like turning around so it's awesome man it's awesome but, you know, yeah and, and a fun fact about <laughs> like how how they've kind of made the first game and this one is all of the streets both underground and above ground are all the exact design yeah. of those places. So the first oh, really? one's New York. This one's Washington, D.C. It has every single street and like building, whatever, is the same exact way it's set up in actual D.C. I was literally just about to say that. It's like, if you think the first one is detailed, this one is detailed times 100. Like, it, it, it is a replica. It's crazy. That's what Evan was telling me because Evan's been to D.C., and he's like, dude, yeah, he's like, dude, this is this place. And oh my gosh, we're doing a mission here. And he was like, oh, this is crazy. Like, he couldn't believe it. I was like, I wish I had had that experience. I've never been to DC, but um, yeah. yeah, that's that's crazy. When you can get a reaction like that, it's like, oh my gosh, these guys spent this much time. Like, who knows? They probably sent a, however many people out taking picture by picture, you know, getting the exact, you know, whatever measurements of stuff. Just I couldn't imagine, dude, just like replicating yep. all that. 
yeah it's it's good and and it, you know it shows like i said qu little quality of life updates whether it's down to the grimiest little detail of having everything perfectly aligned with how it looks in, in real life and you know just you know quality of life updates from you know whatever they bettered from the first division to this one you can just tell just little little tiny things have made this game way better and you're mentioning the the free content as well mm -hmm. um i think what they're doing with it is they're trickling there's trickling teasing everyone with a little bit of content i think i don't know you think that's the right way to do it where they're where they're a lot like giving everyone everything right away i think they played that really well because yeah let's just say because i ordered like the big boy edition because i knew i was going to be playing this game quite a bit for the game i ordered like the big boy edition so i got some early days in there um before anyone else could get get access to it um they didn't have like tier world five and four or something like that um off of initial like early access so like right. you couldn't you couldn't get to like the f the four the farthest of um tier world tiers um so that other people tier could five, experience yeah. it yeah you couldn't get to yeah, tier so, five which i think yeah, they did so, that really well yeah so like uh what the tier world tiers is like it goes world tier one through five just like the first game where one is the easiest and five is the hardest but you get the best loot at five highest item level mm -hmm. and tier five doesn't come out until i think it's tuesday yep next so, or yeah a couple days yeah yeah so like although people did get early access and i know a lot of people were pissed about it because streamers got actually like a day and a half through, yeah they got two days early but um it was kind of like uh i don't know i i I was kind of upset about it a little bit, but at the same time, I was like, honestly, this game's going to be around for so long, it doesn't really matter. Right. So. Hey, I got a question. Um, so when Division was coming out, I heard my friend, he was like, all right, I'm gonna, I can't wait to play. I'm going to play some Apex, and I'm going to play some Division later tonight because that's when the Gold Edition comes out. And the game had already been out for like two to three uh, days already. Did they release like a certain edition of it earlier? Yes. Or, I'm sorry, later than others? Yeah, so I got the standard edition, which comes with just like it came out on the fifteenth, which is the initial release date, and then um, on the twelfth is when it came out for like anyone who bought like a uh, the ninety dollar version. That's or what I got. Yeah, so those guys got a couple days early, but honestly, it doesn't really. I don't. I don't think it's really. That's what I was kind of referencing. Was it's not too big of a deal. I don't think because. I don't know. It's it's one of those games where you want to take your time with it. Anyways, exactly. So. I don't think, I mean, I don't even think it's that big of a deal either because, I mean, you literally have to spend 30 hours to get to, like, end game content, no matter what. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Do I, do I agree with, you know, content creators getting the game way, way, way earlier than other people? Not necessarily, but I don't know. I don't like I could understand from a business perspective. Yeah, like they didn't really do too much like heavy, ad heavy advertising, did they? They didn't really push like it, like the first one, like the push, first one. I thought they pushed really hard. Mm -hmm. This one, like pe people knew it was coming out, but I don't think they like I don't know pushed it as hard. Which I think we can kind of correlate this to something else I was gonna bring up with uh, Ninja, which I don't know if you guys heard, but. He got paid $1 million by the Apex devs to play Apex when it first released. Mm -hmm. I don't, what I don't fucking understand is why would you pay someone who only plays BRs right now to play one of your BRs that he was going to play either way because everyone yeah. else is playing it? <laughs> like, I, yeah. I, I sat, I was sitting there and I was like trying to think from a business perspective how the hell that could be smart. And I'm just like, yeah, he was going to play it anyways. These guys clearly don't know the world of Twitch if they're doing if they're paying this dude a million bucks they could put into their game. Like yeah, but I think like so where it is more of to not I guess necessarily have bad blood. Like so if they were to go around paying other smaller content creators and Ninja was like, wow, what the hell? Like, why can't I get this kind of deal? Like, okay, cool, I'm not gonna play that then because or I mean, I'm not saying he would. I'm I know he's a better person than that, or I know he'd probably play the game anyway. But I'm just saying I think it'd be just to avoid that scenario that may happen mm. well no I will, i'm not saying that like the, he um they should have 
put the money towards other uh, streamers or something. I'm saying put it, why take a million dollars of your, like your actual money pool to give to a streamer whose main thing is BR is, is and is going to likely play this big BR because everyone else is going to be playing it. Mm-hmm. So like, I see what you're saying. Why, why pay him to play it for like a day or two for a million bucks when you could just fucking hold that money and he's going to do it either way. It's like, I, I just don't understand from a business perspective how they thought that was a good idea. Do you feel like that was kind of like a high risk thing to do? I mean, evidently it was, but so if they give him a million dollars, do you think they had in the back of their mind? I'm talking about um, Ubisoft, uh, not Ubisoft, uh, uh, Respawn. Do you think they had in the back of their head? They're like, hey, if he likes this game, we pay him a bunch of money that he'll just drop Fortnite entirely and move on over to our game. I mean, a million dollars is quite a lot because those streamers, they get a lot of money either way. Right. Um, they get paid between uh, 1000 to 10000 an hour. To play oh, easily. Games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's usually based on viewers, like, and then if they play even smaller games, like, from what I hear, actually, mobile games sell the most per viewer. Like, you can make a shit ton. Yeah, that's what uh, Cryptarian does, right? Uh, I think so. I don't really He's watch Cryptarian. Crypt- yeah, he does. He. He does like Hearthstone, and then towards the end, he does a sponsored mobile stream. Oh, okay, he's, then yeah, that's when, for sure what he does. <laughs> yeah, so so what he did when Diablo Immortal came out, which pissed off tons of people in the Diablo community, he's like, <laughs> now people will realize it's not such a bad thing that mobile is around. I'm just like, dude, this is not the time. Oh, to get such a um, this is- don't you guys have phones? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have phones. <laughs> and i think to stream the mobile game they have to like emulate a phone too they don't even like yeah it's an emulator it's blue yeah. it's like a program called blue stacks yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that's what i thought it was yeah i don't know I think there was that much money in mobile games and i saw fucking kate upton in one of the one for like that one mobile game it was like oh she probably got paid millions dude i was like what is she this is a mobile game what the fuck like why is she in this commercial is dude, kate upton from, a cheap, from, cheap, uh, cheap hire what I've heard some people say is the mobile games will pay you like up to like two dollars per viewer you get like oh my god and it's fucking nuts <laughs> how do they that's crazy how do they afford that all these I don't know I don't Candy know Crush, dude. where do they they <laughs> sell it and they sell in crack cocaine what's going on dude, here dude whose mom's credit card is going oh through my all goodness this. gracious <laughs> guys I got it let's build our own RP mobile game you guys got phones. <laughs> but yeah to go back to that thing where i was how ninjas thing kind of goes with like the same thing as king gathalian getting to play a day early for the division he wasn't the only one by the way but no no i'm saying like he was kind of like the biggest one playing at (laughs) the time but um like it's that thing where do they really watch twitch because these dudes are gonna play the i was shit about to say he's the no biggest what. advocate for looter shooters or for the whole right. looter shooter shooter genre so, so yeah if their plan was to get some advertisement out of it it's like dude you're gonna get the advertisement either way right so what the fuck's the i don't know i just whatever whatever if, they, if, that, if that million dollar incentive for ninja would have got him playing that game like full time like just just like after I full on after that, then that would have been such a worthy investment for them. Oh, 100%. Because right. mm. what Ninja did for Fortnite, if Ninja did the same thing for Apex, it would have just been insane. Like a million dollars in that regard in the long run would have been such like just a small investment. Yeah. Of course, I don't watch Ninja Stream. I don't know what he plays nowadays. I don't know if he's still on. I think Fortnite. he mixes sure it up. Is. I think he mixes yeah. it up quite often, which is good. I mean, which... he, I think he like really likes the game though, too. So. Fortnite's kind of like I don't know. I don't play Fortnite. I can't really even speak on it. <laughs> you know? I enjoy yeah. Apex still. I really like the game still. They need to. Uh, they need that drop that uh, battle pass though, man. Same. I mean, I'm not gonna harp on it. I'm not either. I mean, the but, the game's been out for what two months now. You know what's a real big issue right now for me? The hackers, cheaters, man, cheaters, hackers. I heard everything. they banned oh, dude, like 30, 30 million people or something like Some that. Some of those bots are crazy. Well, like, there's I speed hacks believe. going on. I remember, remember there's... when we played Realm Royale back in the day, Jagger, and the speed hackers would fly across the map and snipe you in the face. Well, <laughs> there's dude, people doing that now. It's so easy to do, though, not just necessarily through downloading hacks, but there's literally a thing where you can go into the game's files 
and delete uh, delete smoke for you. The, the vision of smoke. What? So literally, so literally, like people are just beaming you through smoke, and they don't have digital threats because you can just uh, go through and delete mm. smoke and just laser kids, man. So it doesn't appear for you. It's insane. That's the hard so part you- about having a game so popular too. Like there's so many people trying to exploit every single little detail of it. It's like, Oh my God. Then they can't focus on, on one thing at a time. I think, I think right now, why this is my, my theory is I think right now where they're not dropping the battle pass, even if they have it ready or not, is they're trying to solve this hacker problem as fast as they can, because it's going to stop people from playing the game in the long run. You know what I mean? Oh, it's it's doing it right now like i've got i got i played against was it three hackers yesterday or the other day dude i don't want to go back to that shit man right who wants to play that you know yeah it's demoralizing as fuck it's like i don't want to go back go time simmy your video setting (laughs) (laughs) through smoke let's go well doesn't doesn't the anti-cheat kind of have to like learn the the hacks as well over time kind of like it's it's kind of got to learn how to detect them better as well I don't know how it I'm how it all probably, works. Probably check an accuracy range or something. Yeah, or like d- which which sucks because think about someone like Shroud where his tracking is. Yeah, but he's so not good. doing that every kill. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, no, definitely. It'll but. never track that, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's I don't know, man. I I just I really hope that they can figure that hacker thing out. I mean, I think they've banned like a th- millions of people already, like millions of accounts. People just, I don't understand the whole hacking bit. Like, why why hack in a game? I don't understand the enjoyment out of that. I never have. I never will. Is it if you're, I don't know. Is it because someone just gets enjoyment out of destroying people or if they're bad themselves or just for fun? I don't, I can't wrap my head around it, dude. Ever, ever even since Counter-Strike, dude. I've ran into many of cheaters. I've beaten many of cheaters. I've seen people turn on cheats in the middle of a game and start spin botting everyone in the map it happened to me two weeks ago it's like all right well that was that ruined the, the mood <laughs> i'll play something else you know i don't i don't get it mean yeah because i think they advertised they banned like thirty thousand yeah accounts where i'm reading that some thirty thousand thirty thousand accounts don't mean shit when you have like 50 25 to 50 million 50 people million, playing. yeah no, it's like, it doesn't mean anything. I wouldn't even fucking advertise that. Right. It's not, <laughs> not much to be proud of. I don't know. I've been very salty with Apex lately with the updates and the cheating stuff. So it's like, ugh, dude. It's, like, it's hard to play. Game. I was like, as someone who has like PTSD flashbacks from Black, I was like, just fucking update your game, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I predicted too. I was like, if they don't update it, shit. It happens with every BR, Ryan. Every single BR. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Not that I don't love the game. I love the game. I think it's the best BR out to date. But they gotta, they gotta figure something out. I'm sure they're. I'm sure that's the only thing they're worried about right now. They could care the fuck less about a battle pass right now. They're trying to. I guarantee they're trying to figure out the hacker problem. Cause that shit has to go. I mean, you got you got people spending how much, however much it is salary on esports teams for this game already, and the game, <laughs> you know, the game hasn't even been out for two months. It just blows my mind. Yeah, I don't know, I, but I think the why people are so mad about the battle pass though is because uh, people that have gone through with like the the game's files and everything, they've kind of concluded and even through respawn that the, the thing is basically ready to be like sent. No, like, I I've like, heard some stuff. Yeah, like it's all like all you gotta do is like just put it on there. Like that, right. you don't even have to like do much else for it. And it's like they've hinted at it. They said it's gonna be March. It's already March seventeenth. It's uh, I mean technically it's still March, but like they really said on, on March 29th, March thirtieth, it's gonna be like what the fuck, man? Like yeah, like, that's gonna be really stupid. I have a feeling it's gonna drop this week. That's just me though. Predicted here live. All right, I got some deep state knowledge. I hit it live, all right? What do you think, on like a Tuesday or whatever? Yeah, we yeah like a Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday uh, night, or Tuesday past morning. Tuesday is always Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday is always Tuesday. Yep. Why is Tuesday. it? I don't know. It's 100% wow, going to be Tuesday, dude. Well, that's when, when games used to drop, man. Like, they would always drop on Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know why you wouldn't wait for the weekend, but what the fuck? I remember being young and like always, I figured out never skip school on a Tuesday because I was probably patching, so I wouldn't be able to play anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've done that mistake so many times when I was younger, dude. Rookie mistake. I'm gonna stay home and level up a little bit. 
fucking <laughs> maintenance for six hours or something. Maintenance used to be rough and yeah, wild. Yeah, used to like, I should have just gone to wild. school. Fuck it. I could have yeah. learned. Could have yeah. learned. <laughs> like, I, I stayed home for like when Cataclysm dropped one of these. Oh, things. man. Yeah, I, and uh, I, as soon as I logged in, someone hit max level. I was like, really? Fucker. Back when world first level max levels dropped. Oh, man. All right, I'm I'm throwing this on the table right now since we got Wow on the on the chopping block. Are we are we leveling together, Spark Ryan? What's good when Classic comes out? Are we giving oh, this dude. a rip or it's what's up? Crazy. Yeah. Dude, the down. only issue is I'm pretty sure Sparky's a horde scum. So. Oh, no, I actually I play Alliance. I've always played Alliance. Yes, thank God. Good man, right there. I've always played Alliance. Good man. <laughs> I always play a girl character with a girl name too. So, dude, you know. that's how you oh, get the dude. gold, dude. He's gonna get all the money. I know. I mean, you got you got to think about it. Right? I'm gonna be staring at this character's ass for like at least 20, <laughs> right. 20 hours out of the day. I might as well want to look not wrong. Yeah. You're not. Not a bad option. <laughs> you gotta be honest. That night of male booty, tone. Thickums. Dude, the Michael Jackson dance. I'm ready, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> On the dead bodies and shit. Oh, oh. man. So, I'm, dude, I'm, what's the I'm prediction so for like the the WoW stuff? Like, when when is Classic gonna be dropping? I don't so know anything now. Just, they just made a blue post like on the twelfth, and uh, they they released <laughs> like their what they're doing for their raid schedule and shit. Okay. Six, so it's like six phases, which is I think is perfect because like they're gonna kind of stagger the content, so it's not too much too quick. They didn't have a release date, but. As of now, it's still summer 2019. Oh, so. man. Within the next four to five months. So I can wait. I got a lot of games I'm playing right so now. Do so do I. I was just curious. I don't know if you guys had any any information. Yeah, basically. Ryan's just... my source of info right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just we just got to wait. It's the worst part about it. I think yeah, it gives for... it gives you a good amount of time to really think about what you want to do, like class wise, race wise, all that good stuff. For sure, though, I'm down to waste another 16 years of my life in this. Let's game. go, Let's dude. Go. dude <laughs> me and my brother always talk about. We're like, dude. He's like, dude. What are all your friends playing for classes? We need to have a good group comp. And I'm like, I know, I know. I gotta figure. Out. Like, <laughs> I'll go. I'll I'll play healer if I have to, but. I'm already, I'm already down. I'm gonna be playing a hunter. It's just there you go. Way it is, dude. So you're gonna hit max level first. Sounds good. Dude. I know. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm lazy. <laughs> dude, they're, they're definitely the best level in class, but they're yeah, actually sure. one of the best classes at max level too. I PVP and PVE. Good. Just pure nostalgia factor for me. I remember in vanilla playing a hunter, and I was like, okay, cool. like a nine years old pulling for my forty man raid group that's full of grown ass <laughs> men. Yeah. I'm like. Alright guys, I'm gonna pull this one. And they'd be like, who the fuck is that? Like talking <laughs> child is on the mic. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. Good times. I remember one time there's like there's a boss in BWL, the first one, uh I can't remember the name right now. But like for hunter or every class has a specific job, and for hunters you have to like kite all these like mobs, like specific mobs or like around the room. And like half, like the hunters had died, and I was one of the only few left. Whatever. And I remember my whole raid group was like, "Look at Sparky go!" And like I had like the whole group, and I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> you know? Oh, you talk about uh, Nefarian, the last boss? No, 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 the, the first one, the first one, and there with the eggs. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I remember all the dragon guys or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. Um, so me, me, Ryan, and our buddy Dave have been playing a lot of Guild Wars Two off stream, like a lot. Like we've just been grinding it, and it's been so fun. I was thinking to myself, like, man, if I only knew you guys like ten years ago when WoW was a thing, and I actually had a PC. Oh man, I don't know what I'd be playing these days. <laughs> it was so much fun. It's just I've had my, I'm having fun with the game. Yeah, it's, just chill. It's the music's great, super relaxing. You could do whatever the fuck you want. Right, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still even like uh, I'll hop on those private servers every now and then, and like, like I know it's just it's literally pointless to be even be playing it because like, cool, the server might get wiped or like someone like it just might just stop playing someday. But I'm like, cool, hey, I'm just so pra- I'm just I'm just practicing for classic. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> just that's cracking what my brother's been doing too. He's like, I- I've just been playing classes to see what I really want to do practice some leveling routes and shit 
people are going so hard for that game like dude there's gonna be a couple of deaths from non-sleep i guarantee it on the release day people are not gonna sleep and there's gonna be rushed to the hospital and shit oh boy people go hard so Mm -hmm. they do there was a guy who um he had a video of him getting world first level 60 which by the way he was a hunter when uh classic actually was around it was on that what was it fraps i think it was called. oh my god yeah that was a recording service so he would play it on a stream on twitch and he'd get like 600 viewers it just showed his one through 60 route but the whole thing which was very long and uh twitch banned him because you you generally will get banned for playing classic wow since it's not technically around anymore obviously but also it's still under blizzard's control so like you can't stream private servers but he was streaming the live servers so like that's stupid there's a uproar about it because it was like dude he did nothing wrong he was just showing a recording Right, this is content too. Technically, on on mm-hmm. live servers, this is not a private server. That uh oh, yep. uh oh, yeah. Dude, what if he just sues Twitch? <laughs> so when Sparky was watching his YouTube video of a guy playing a hunt, a blood elf hunt, I was like, dude, you can get in trouble. And he was <laughs> like, oh no, it's a YouTube video, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> sure, sure. But yeah, it's not that like. Um... Twitch like uh, Twitch itself doesn't really care at all. But it's oh the fact no, that if, if you... yeah. If so, like someone at Blizzard or whatever sees that like they this technically copyrighted content or something, so they have to mm-hmm. like pull it down. So Twitch yeah, yeah. by law has to do it. So Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Was like uh, mm-hmm. it's technically Blizzard like fucking being That's silly. Just seeing something and they're like, Oh, that's not right when they didn't even yeah. look into it at all. Uh, when the title <laughs> says classic wow original release one through sixty or something. It's just fucking look into it a little bit and you'd know. Mm-hmm. Let's just ban him. Get him out of here. <laughs> I think it was so dumb, like, they banned, uh, like, the biggest server was in Astarius. Mm-hmm. Whatever it's called. Like, they took so, like, long to, um... So... Like, get Classic WoW on the table, because I think Nostarius has been banned for... Three, maybe two to three years now. Yeah, and then like I think two years later, after they did that, then they announced that they're going to be coming out of Classic WoW, and now it's like the game's still not out. It's like I get you're doing that, but it's like it seems like so long for you to develop these servers that maybe you shouldn't. I mean, just let it go. That's the the thing, man. Is they actually flew out some of the guys from Astarius to talk about it and like that's right. Come to a common ground, and I think if I'm not mistaken, some of the guys from the Star Wars like kind of helped them get the original like core of the game to. That's crazy. Yeah, so it, it was. It's kind of weird how it happened. It was a really fucked up situation though. When it first happened, dude, I remember holy it. shit. I was playing on the server first off. I was level like 40 with my brother, and like, dude, it was ridiculous because like the last day of the server being up everyone just got into one little area and it was lagging like crazy and then you just saw the servers go down oh "Oh, pepe hands dude it was real pepe (laughs) hands. which i don't know if you guys know this but there was when final fantasy 11 was around when the was it 11 or was the the original final fantasy 14 it was one of those and uh when the servers were around, they were getting shut down because I, I think it was like they wanted to redo the whole formula or something. And how it ended was, I think it was one of the coolest endings was it was like the world was falling apart. There's meteors landing. It was it was like they took the story and pushed it into it to finally close down the server. Wow. It was really, really cool. I'll have that's to really run the cool. Video for you yeah, guys, I but. think I know what you're talking about. But yeah, that's really cool. Oh man, all this nostalgia talk. It makes yeah, me so wish I had a PC is- growing up. I I didn't have anything like that growing up really. Like I had like a PlayStation PlayStation here, PlayStation there, but I'm I'm just experiencing my MMOs like real realistically right now, like just leveling and just chilling and hanging out. Having the oh, whole man. social feel for it. It's just it's you're good, play dude. Classic wild, and you're like, this is fucking rough. Why why are we doing this? 
No, nah, I I like leveling though. I'm I'm one of those rare people that enjoys leveling. Like I'm I, mean, no, I, I, I too, love the process. With classic, it, it's tough though. Like I don't know, like because even on that private server that I play on with one of my buddies, like after like every or we'll kill like one mob or whatever, and like okay, cool, now we're out of mana, out of health, we gotta sit here, eat, drink, like you know, and mess up. Pull we two. Pull, yeah, yeah, if you actually go. pull two mobs, you're done. Dude, yeah, you're you're done. You're just trouble. just run closer to the graveyard because that's yeah. what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the beauty of it, though. I feel like I don't know with some of these MMOs now, you just you just are way too powerful. I don't know, dude. It's crazy. I mean, because like me and uh, my boy Aaron, we we're playing on a private server too, and like he started leveling, so I was like, "Oh, cool, I'll start a new character with you," and like. So we'd pull two stuff and we'd just like me and him screaming, just like, oh God, dude, Sparky, get it, Sparky. Like, just a, a regular NPC. Like, it has nothing to do. Like, we die, we spawn like 10 feet away. It's just the pure chaos of it. So, if you guys want to watch that video, it's right there. You're going to have to turn it down a little bit for some reason. It's loud. That's uh, that's what happened to the original um, Final Fantasy 14 before Rome Reborn was made, which is what it is now. It was like super low graphic, shitty quality, but. uh. Yeah, it was like they made the story kind of lead towards the end of the servers, which is like fucking crazy. Yeah, that's that is wild. That's so cool, though. Like, I remember when my buddy told me about it, and I was like, no fucking way. That's that's crazy. I forget what happened, but what, what I'm pretty sure was going on was they were just trying to like they wanted to redo it, essentially. So they needed to end it somehow. But yeah. They had like a cinematic for it and everything. Basically, after the cinematic ends, the servers got shut down. Oh, I see. There, I see the cinematic in the middle of the video. Oh no mm -hmm. way, dude! Yep, that's crazy, bro. I think that's really cool. It's well, Final Fantasy's like they're known for like their good stories and everything too, and right. they implement it very well in their MMO. So, that's cool, man. That's wild. Sad as feels. Sometimes that is one time so sad to be crying, dude. <laughs> one time your guildies logged out and you never knew they wouldn't log back in. You know? uh, right, dude. Like, it, uh, just imagine. Uh, just think about all the friendships that were gone after that, dude. Right. Mm -hmm. GG. Oh. How do, you, how do you guys feel about that now with, or, or with MMOs now? Uh, or even, like, with people streaming and stuff like that. Do you feel like people can't get that same experience when it comes to MMOs. Like, like let's just say, like, you, you're you going into this vast world without knowing anyone, essentially, and it's just not the same experience as it used to be. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even on Xbox 360, dude. Like, yeah, you're right. not going to get that same shit ever again. You're yeah, just going to go into lobbies and hear shit talking. <laughs> 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 so all you hear is a bunch of three-year-olds yelling at you. Yeah, yeah okay. it's crazy. So, some of my uh, some of my old WoW buddies from my original guild that I was in uh, back in vanilla, like they'll pop up my stream now and like they'll call me by my in-game name back then. And I'll be like, "What's up, Nastamar? How you doing?" I'm like, "Oh shit, what's up, dude?" Like, <laughs> and, like we've added each other on Facebook. So like, so one of them now he's or he was older than that back then. So I was like eleven at the time whenever I had met them, and he was like twenty something. He's like, "Man, Sparky, I got a kid now. That's the same age as when I met you." It feels so weird to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the heck that is crazy old man right mm -hmm. yeah and then we've had like i've added them on facebook and stuff and so like i still have them all then um even one of them uh last this last twitch or two twitch ones ago i met him for the first time in real life like uh his name is sanar or whatever or in game it was sanar and um uh like we 